Hello friends, this is Sonia with Sonia's Shoe Boxes. How are you all? A few weeks ago, I did what I thought was my last taping or my last video for 2021. Uh, I've been having a lot of company. I've been having a lot of things going on. You know, life happens to all of us at one time or another. So it's been good. It's been everything has been really fun and good visits and a lot of fun time. But now I'm home. My company has now left. I now may be sitting my girlfriend's dog for the next week or week and a half, which is a lot of fun because I don't have a dog. I, I love dogs, but I currently do not have a dog. So Sadie and I are keeping each other on this company and we're having fun. So the reason why I'm videoing this is that I have been purchasing items on sale for my 2022 boxes. Uh, like I mentioned before, like if, if you have been following my channel, you know that I'm a new member of this OCC community, quote unquote. I'm a new packer, so I am like still learning what to do and how to do better and how to buy and purchase better. So the best way for me to show you my purchases and what I have done to save money in 2022 is buying ahead of time now that the sales, that there's so many sales going on and saving for next year. So purchasing earlier for next 2020, for next year's 2022 boxes. I hope that makes sense to you. When I started my boxes, March of 2021, I had nothing in stock. I had no shirts, no clothes, no, no flip-flops, no, no toys, nothing. I was starting from scratch. And with the pandemic and we were all indoors, I went crazy. It was like, oh, Amazon is so easy. It's so easy to shop through Amazon. Macy's, JC Penney's, everything, blah, blah, blah. And I kept on buying. And now when I see my bills, I say, wow, I mean, I have to shop smart and follow, you know, you know, make common sense of what I'm buying. I start buying earlier for you know, for the later boxes. Uh, before I show you my box though, I want you to, I, I recommend, you know, if you wish to see Denise Rogers last uh, taping, she, had, she taped it about maybe a day or so ago, it's wonderful. She takes you on a shopping spree to find items to put in a box. I love Denise's uh, videos. They're informative. She packs from her heart. Her videos are adorably cute and well thought of. And, you know, she, uh, you know, I, I like her, you know, not only Denise, there are many other Packers, but right now I'm mentioning Denise. I don't want my other Packers to think that I am not acknowledging them because you all are terrific. But I just really enjoyed Denise's last video. So I want to show you what I was able to pack for less than $25 in a box, per box, by shopping sales and clearances. Uh, I have some boxes similar, not to this one, but similar with soccer balls and pumps and all that I did back in March, that I can tell you they were expensive. They were like full price soccer balls. You know, I know you can buy a soccer ball, you can buy them in bulk, but I didn't want to be, buy 36 soccer balls and make all my boxes soccer balls, which you can't. I mean, it's no, there's no, no, nothing wrong with that, but I wanted a variety in my boxes. So as I learn and as I grow through this process, let me share with you my boxes for three boys, ages 10 to 14. They are not, I like to say identical, but they're really not identical. That would be misleading because the shirts are the same price, but they're different colors. The, the little items may be a different colors. Uh, the soccer balls are identical. The soccer balls were originally $16.95 or $99, $16, whatever, close to $17. And I got them at $5, $5, three of them at Walmart. 
uh, in the theory section. So that's how this evolved. So let me share with you my three similar boxes for boys 10 to 14. So let's go and play game. Let, let's see, let's make a goal here. Okay, so here we have my three boxes. Like I said, they're not, they're similar, not identical. Uh, I remember many of you bought or found these little plushes. I can't remember how much they were. Am I on camera here? Yes. Uh, maybe they were 50 cents when I bought them. I know they were not a dollar. Everything, most of the items in this box were less than a dollar an item. So one has an American football and the other one has, the other two have the soccer plushies. So let me, and then this one here has a set of dice from the 90, from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And the other one has, the other two boxes have the skate. Fortunately, I wish I, sh I wish I, I would have gotten more of this, but I didn't. And I think I got them also at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So let me show you then my similar boxes and what these boys will be receiving. On this box here, I'm missing uh, a pump and the needles. The needles I have separate, but I'm waiting. I order a pump from Amazon, I'm talking about Amazon. I just didn't did want to make a trip to Walmart this morning. So, shall we begin? What the boys will find in their boxes, this is what they will find. A variety and assortment of items that boys love. At least my boys loved them when they were this age. Uh, talking about age, I think I'm the oldest one in the group. Uh, it's been a long time since my boys play soccer. Now my grandson plays it. My granddaughter will soon, will soon too. But this reminds me, I'm, I'm packing from my heart. I'm packing things that I remember my boys enjoying and how much glee and happiness it brought to them. So when I pack for these children, I pack from my heart. I pack from my personal feelings and I pack from a good place. So as you all do, I'm sure, but I don't know, I get emotional. We humans get emotional every so often. So let's get to the box. Okay, what well, this boy, like I mentioned, I found this skate, little set, which I think is really cute. It has the wheels and it has the miniature screwdrivers. And I think that he will find, they will have, they, they, he will have fun with this. So this is it. Uh, before I go any longer, I told you that I, I bought this, everything in this box in super, super sales. Let me tell you that the most expensive items that I bought here were the soccer ball that I paid $5, the pump I paid $5.99, for each of the pumps, I wanted to get them a good quality pump. Uh, I didn't see any at my Dollar Tree nor at my 99 cent store. I have never, I don't, I have never used them. I, you know, I, I only went, I went with the pumps because the, the, the Spalding pump because of my grandson who said, you're getting a good quality if you get this. So the pump was $5.99. The shirt, each shirt, in each of the boxes, they cost me $3. They were the summer clearance at Walmart. They are the thin, um, sporty type uh, fabric that don't wrinkle. I don't know what fabric, I don't know anything about fabric, but you, you know what I'm talking about, the sporty type. Those shirts were $3. Many of you may have found them for less than three. My Walmarts here, I have four Walmarts, but. The, I don't get that many good prices on clothing and uh, uh, maybe because the community that I am, I live in a community of mainly, it's a large community, there are nine cities in, in the valley where I live, but it's mainly a, a retirement community, a golfing community, a tennis community. Uh, so finding items sometimes for the younger ones is difficult and when they go on sale, the younger families here, of course, they gravitate and grab them right away. 
the backpack in this box, in, in, in these three boxes, they were only a dollar. So I'll show you what it, you know. And the underwear, there were, there were uh, packages of four of the underwear, quality underwear. I think, I think they were Reebok. So let's see when I, when, when I pulled them out. They were like four for, for two dollars. So the two, a set of underwear, two pairs of underwear came to a dollar. And the marbles were a dollar. So everything else in the boxes was less than a dollar. So let's continue then. I found these youth rain jackets at Walmart for 75 cents in the clearance section. Uh, I thought, why not? Let me get three of them or four of them. There were like, there were four, but one of them, the packaging was torn and I really wanted to send it like this because it's not gonna take, this wrapping is not gonna take any more space then. And that way, I don't know, I think, I think he's, he can see that it, it was his package and he himself opened it. So, and you know, I figured that he, he would know exactly what it was, what, what it was for, a rain jacket. So I, I've gotten ponchos for the other, my other boxes, but I've never seen the rain jackets. So I really, I really, really like this. I hope I can find them again or they bring them back again. Okay, the backpacks. Recently, the after school backpack sale at Walmart, I didn't get much. Uh, the supply was not, their inventory was not very large. So I was not able to find a lot of uh, items, uh, you know, for the summer clearance sale, or not the summer clearance sale, the after school clearance sale. But this backpack, I have not removed the tags. I want the young man to see what it is, what it is for. But they were a dollar. I think some of you, I think Denise found some. I think some of you may have also. I hope you did because they are so cool. Look at this. This is a full-size student backpack with a pencil uh, uh, pa pouch included. So when he folds it, I, I think it's great. I think it's like for a dollar, it was like, whoa, I think I bought all they had. I, nobody, nobody was touching them and some of them were open and I just feel whatever they had. I think I may have gotten about maybe 30, 25, 30 of them. I don't know, but I was so happy with my dollar purchase. So each boy has that in his bag. Uh, let, me, let me show you the ball. So he has, I loved this ball, the soccer ball. Let me, let me, inside the soccer ball, let's, well, let's start with this. Of course, he's got his little squishy that he can attach to his uh, backpack. So that'll be fun. A bag of marbles. So I've been looking for marbles and I missed them. They were on sale at, uh, I don't know, the dollar. I don't know, some, some store that I only have access to one store and it's a very dingy store. And I went and they had nothing and I figure I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm not coming here anymore. So, but these are, they were a dollar when Walmart has, had it for a dollar. And then the little sack I bought from Amazon at the beginning of the year last year. So he's got a, there are 50 marbles and one shooter in here. Uh, he has his barca. Whoops. Uh, soccer ball. So I deflated it. I still left it with some air. I was told, I do not know, but I was told, <laughs> my grandson said, leave it with some air because it will protect the bladder inside the ball. For you soccer players, if you know what that means, more power to you, but I, <laughs> I don't know. I am learning, I am learning. And it happens to me, Barcelona is one of my favorite teams. So it's the Real, Real Madrid. So this is a Barcelona team ball. So they all have the identical ball and it's a size five. Uh, the official size is a size five. I like sending size fives because they are a little harder to pack because they take more space. 
but it's the largest and I figure if they're 10 and 14 they can they can continue playing I mean they can be adults they can play with their siblings they can play as a team I don't know I don't know that's my own preference I'm sure the size four and three are fine as well but that's my preference uh, so let me go to his okay so he's got all these little goodies to play and his soccer ball and his marbles and let me show you the shirt the shirt was three dollars uh, I think it's a great shirt for a young man uh, it's sort of like a galaxy or something but I don't official sport clothing oh okay so it's sport clothing and it is a size 14 16 so this will be and you see it's that type that you know it doesn't wrinkle and they're very easy to pack so for, for you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I, I just love them. They are so easy, easy to pack. So, so of course, with the soccer ball, he has his uh, pump. And then I ordered through Amazon a, I think they, they came like a hundred in a, in a package or in a, a plastic uh, container. Uh, needles and I'm including four additional needles in each of With the pumps the pump comes with one needle, but I included four additional so he's got the pump to go with the ball uh, He has a jump rope uh, This is one of the jump ropes that I found for 10 cents. I you know, I didn't buy, I, in some of my earlier boxes, I have the black jump ropes, you know, the exercise rig jump ropes for the boys. But this time I'm using what I have in stock now. And uh, so he's, he's getting this jump rope. Uh, he may have a younger sister or, you know, a cousin. And still, it's a jump rope. He'll, you know, he needs to build his leg strength. He's got two pair of socks and the socks were dirt cheap. Maybe Sadie, you want to go out? Okay, this dog wants to go out. Excuse me. Okay, Sadie, go. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is two pair of socks for this young man. I'm including for him, of course. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're Reeboks. Two sets of the shorts underwear. And they were like four, they were in a package of four for two dollars. I grabbed as much as I could, as much as they had. And right now I am very low on boys underwear. So that means that from now on to whenever, when next year, and on, onward, every time I go to Walmart, I will be on the lookout and if I find them today tomorrow I'll make sure to stock for them so I think stocking ahead of time clearance items is a way it's a good way to go I have a pencil pouch here for him uh, it's I left it flat so everything would fit with a picture of my family of my kids the dogs I mean the fake dogs as but that was my Christmas decoration I had it was all about dogs in my front yard. So he, he has his pencil pouch and the pencil pouch was at Walgreens recently for 10 cents. So I did buy, I think that's the only thing that I was able to find. I, I was there late. Okay, so I'm having the pencils. I have nine pencils, uh, three pens, uh, lots of erasers. And I have them in this little uh, two by nine. Uh, with, uh, with closable uh, plastic, plastic, is that what they're called, plastic? I have them here. Uh, that way they're not loose in the bag and in the box and easy for them to grab. Besides, I had them, I also been doing uh, pencil packs as fillers and I have been doing them in this size, I've been doing them in a larger size. And this is another option that if I ever if, I'm ever, if I ever find myself unable to do boxes, for whatever reason, financial or whatever reason, or they're just too much for me to handle, well, I'm old, but not that old, okay? <laughs> oh, wow. 
I will be doing pencil packs, which I think they're fun to do. And uh, if you go, it's so they will be, I have, um, I, you know, they're fun to do watching TV at night and they're inexpensive. And I don't know, I just like doing them. I just like, it keeps me busy doing them and it keeps me busy by not eating in front of the TV. So my hands are busy. I'm, you know, filling pencil pouches and I'm not eating enough chocolate chip cookies. So, hey, you know, you're coming ahead. So I have the pencils. Uh, then I have for him this little Nerf, uh, I don't know, they're like the, you press them and they fly out. It's like, I don't know, the little toys. They came in a, from Walmart and they were like four in a pack and they were 25 cents. So I divided, you know, the, each of the boys, I, I bought a, a few packs, each of the boys getting, you know, a, a set of this uh, Frisbees, fris I, you know, whatever they're called. Uh, he's getting a bouncy ball from the uh, Old Navy gum machine. If you've ever been to the Old Navy, I learned that uh, Trish, Trish with bird feet uses them I was so happy. I went to the Dollar Tree, remembered to bring a bag and lots of quarters. And I was having so much fun. There were some kids that were just looking at me, you know, kids that were there with their parents or their mothers. And they just kept on looking at me like, why is this lady taking so many balls from the gumball machine? Well, all the kids got one, so they left the store happy. So I found these uh, rulers for 25 cents recently at Walmart. They are the slap bracelet rulers, as you can see, and they're 12 inches, and they were 25 cents. And uh, I again, I bought as much as as much as they had. So you'll be seeing my rulers for a while. So he's got they have rulers, uh, a bandana. I think that they were like 25 cents uh, at Walmart a, a long time ago. So now he has his color pencils, also at Walmart. Before school, before their clearance, their school clearance, they had a sale and they were 50 cents. So I, I, I bought plenty of color pencils. So I, I'm already stocked for this on color pencils. So I'm okay. If you need some, reach out. Um, I have an Elmer's glue. I think Val had a, Val also packs boxes, Val Swain, and she also, she had some issues with the brand, the purple brand, the Walmart brand. And I, when I was pulling, getting this uh, Elmer's brand, I opened one of the purple ones uh, from Walmart, the Walmart brand. I, I believe they are the same brand as the Craft and Art. And mine was trying to. So I am going to keep an eye on them, and uh, I may, I may have to replace them with the Elmers. So I don't know. Just you know, you might, you might, you know, keep an eye. You know, you, you may have a different experience, but I, I, I would hate the child to receive a dry, a dry thing, uh, glue, glue stick. Okay, so each boy is getting a Spalding metal whistle. They were, I don't know what the original price, but they were also at Walmart and they were, I think I either pay 50 cents or 75 cents. I cannot remember, but I'm keeping it in the packaging for sanitary reasons. And, and I think he'll, just, he'll enjoy it. And, and it, 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 it fits in the box, it's fine. So he'll enjoy his professional metal whistle. Okay, so now for his school supplies, he has a one subject notebook, college rules, uh, and a whole bunch of stickers inside. The, this, uh, these are from sta uh, Staplers, and I found them for 25 cents. I've also found notebooks that I think I have over 100 of them at Walmart not too long ago in their clearance section for 10 cents. Um, no, it, it was a while ago that I found them, but it was way, way before school started. And uh, so I have plenty of notebooks and stuff. So they are, let me see this notebook in here. Uh, 
this pen and gear little pad I was there were four in a pack and they ran at 25 cents so this one only ran 25 cents the other ones ran I think 88 cents or 89 cents four in a pack so I, I just bought the 25 cents so each box each boy has his little pad to ball up then of course from our trusty uh, Dollar Tree I found the Hot Wheels. They all have the same identical uh, Hot Wheel car. I I think that they can even cut them and decorate their rooms if they don't if they don't do crayons. I think they they can even frame them if they wish. But I think it's hard to find in a coloring book for a boy ten to fourteen that will catch his attention. So I think Hot Wheels cars you can't fail with that. So he's got his. Okay, and of course the bar of soap, ivory soap, I, and I gave him, I gave each of them two uh, of the yellow, of the yellow, oh gosh, of the pink lash uh, erasers, a sharpener, and I am now low in sharpener, well I shouldn't say low, I have none, <laughs> I am like down to zero. Uh, I want to next year, and this is my own opinion, uh, sharpeners, uh, I, I love buying them when they're very inexpensive, but I was testing one of them not too long ago, and after a while they don't sharpen, the blades are, they don't become dull. So I maybe next year, since I am buying so inexpensively now and saving for next year, maybe next year I will be buying uh, a better quality a single, uh, even if they are like loose like this, like uh, maybe uh, what are they, the drafters or the, the people that do drafting, drafts, uh, a better quality uh, sharpener. I don't know. I mean, I you tell me how. I love to get your feedback, so please let me know. Uh, am I being silly through all this? Uh, and of course, a comb. You know, I think that these were like, they were like, four or six in a pack from the Dollar Tree. Uh, his Rich toothbrush. I like the Rich because it already comes with the cap. And yes, Walmart has them very inexpensive, like six in a pack, and then you have to buy the Walmart. But uh, I started using this Rich and they really, I mean, they really clean your, your teeth very nicely. So, I don't know. So that's that's a preference, you know, that's, that's his. You know, his, his, you know, his toothbrush. And a washcloth. And this washcloth was also from the 4th of July sale. Uh, they came like one, two, three, four, maybe seven in a packet. And the packet was $2. So you figure. I mean, this was like less than 25 cents for this uh, washcloth. So, okay, friends, these are now my final uh, three boxes for. Operation Christmas Child 2021. Uh, this is a little long video. I am very sorry, uh, but I just wanted you to see what I did, what I've done, what I would like to continue doing, and uh, learn from all of you. One of the things that I have learned is that we, we all pack differently. We all choose different items, but what we pack is beautiful. It comes from our hearts. Uh, I have had many questions asked to me. I am afraid to give an answer in a way because I'm not an expert at this. I am, you know, I'm just a grandma packing boxes. And anytime I have a question as to, is this the right size box? Am I doing it right? Yes, I trust the many of you that have experience, but then sometimes Sometimes I want to reconfirm, and I have reached out to Operation Christmas Child many a times as to what is appropriate. Let's say weapons. Yes, I know the Halo characters. If you know who the Halo characters are, uh, they're war characters. They look so real. I mean, G.I. Joe looks like a little baby <laughs> in comparison. This is me talking, okay? <laughs> but. The Halo characters, they do. They have them at Walmart. They have them at many stores. 
Oh, the dog wants to come in. Okay, come in. She's in. And the Halo characters are very warlike looking. Even the little figures. I mean, you can even see the plastic on uh, the indentation in their skins. They're, they're very, they're very well made, but they're, they're, they're very human-like. Uh, my question was with Star Wars. Okay, Star Wars. We all love Star Wars. I love Star Wars. What about the, the you know, Darth Vader? Darth Vader has the sable. Uh, what about all oh, the white characters? Uh, what, what are they called? I'm missing them. I'm just the stormtroopers. They have, I contacted OCC and they told me that they were fine, that it was okay to include. Now, do not follow my advice. If you have questions, please reach out to them. Uh, their email is right on their website. I have reached out to them. If I reach out to them today, I'll have an answer by tomorrow. If I reach out to them on a Friday, I have an answer you know, from them by Monday. They're the best. They want, they, of course, this is a wonderful program and I, I want to continue doing this. So I hope you do too. For now, until my next unboxing, which will be in 2022, 20, maybe I'll start right after Christmas. Those will be my unboxings for 2022. In the meantime though, if I find any good sales or anything that is worth reporting, you bet. I will be taping and videoing and sending on to you. A big hug to you. Thank you for watching. I wish you the merriest of holidays. Be safe, be well, be kind. Thank you so much. Ciao.